Well, Michael, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Uh, and thanks for your time. Thank you. Do you rem remember the first time you saw the original Alien? Yes, I do remember. I don't know exactly how old I was, but I remember sitting in the living room and just being sort of silenced by it and just being totally sucked into, into the movie. It's one of those films that, that definitely marks a part of, uh, of my childhood, for sure. It's hard to forget, you know, the, between the face hugger and uh, the alien exploding out of his stomach, uh, those things don't go away. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I've ever been as horrified and terrified and surprised. My friend's older brother showed me the chest burster scene when I was 10 and really freaked me out. <laughs> so I didn't return to see the whole film until I was like 25. I was dreading seeing it. Um, and then after that, I was so blown away by it, and I think I've watched it like once a year ever since then. Of course, you're doing another Alien after this one. Mm -hmm. Is it going to change a lot? I mean, it's going to get bigger, right? I think it's it's automatically getting, it's expanding, it's doing that, yeah, it's getting larger. The universe of the Alien is getting bigger. So next we will be on a planet, definitely. I don't know if this time it's for you is more appealing than the last one, the Prometheus. And how do you compare these two, these two experiences? I guess, you know, the first time it was just a real, I was very excited to, to be working with Ridley Scott for the first time, for sure. Uh, and then to be part of the Alien franchise, just sort of exploring that character. I had a lot of fun in Prometheus, so I was looking forward to getting back into it and to bring David back to life. And then there was Walter, there was a new character to explore as well. But just, you know, working with Ridley, I just love working with him and uh, learning from him and just sort of being on his sets is always a very relaxed environment. It's a fun environment. Um, it's a very creative environment. And, and that's, that's particularly unusual on films of this size. And he works very fast, so there's four or five cameras at work at once. So you, you have that feeling of it being on an independent film, even though it's a, it's a, it's a big blockbuster. And what is it like to go back to this creature that is so iconic um, from the, the first movie? And Prometheus didn't have the, the xenomorph, the, the alien mm -hmm. itself. Uh, what is it like to go back? It's not just a guy in a suit. There's a lot of CGI improvement. It's easier because I'm not working with a guy in a, in a kind of rubber latex suit. It's being drawn digitally. But with the way I work, I still make a very good costume, head and suit, both for Neomorph and for Xenomorph. So I've got something to film on the set. I hate having no, the actors acting with nothing there, it's ridiculous. I didn't know there was this much green in the whole galaxy. In the trailer, we see that you have a meeting with a face hugger, so it's not so secretive about, uh, about what happens in, in this movie with no. your character, so. You don't see I do this move. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody did that move. You can before. do karate. You can yeah, do karate in the space. Just like the Three Stooges. And then I beat that thing off, so my character was fine. That must be an honor, an honor to have a, a, a chest buster uh, with you. In a, in I don't a even know how to describe it. it. It's the greatest to be a part of things that you grew up cherishing. You know, me and Danny McBride would sit on the, the, the ship and just be like, dude, we're all this shit. <laughs> trying not to shit ourselves, you know, it was great. <laughs> it was uh, a childhood dream come true. Uh, I've talked to Michael, I talked to Billy, mm -hmm. and everybody uh, has a lot of compliments. Uh, they love working with you, especially because you work fast. Uh, it seems like this is the only thing that matters to actors. Uh, uh, it is, they like speed. Uh, contrary to what people think, they think actors want 40 and 50 takes, they don't. They want two takes and move on. And if everyone knows what they're doing, it's about confidence. All of this is to start our new life. Why is it that the alien movies always pay attention to the, to the androids? And why is it so important to have them among the humans? I guess we have a, a relevance to these AIs because they are going to be amongst us. And, and, and from the beginning in that first alien film, there's a bit of resentment towards them uh, because Maybe they're a better version of us, and maybe they're the next step in evolution. Maybe they'll get rid of us. Do you believe that you can create a, a young uh, uh, replay from CGI? Is it, is it possible today, or in like five years, to do a, a, a really, uh, a really true replay, young replay? If it makes sense, yeah. Because don't forget, we're approaching Ripley's birth at this point. Mm -hmm. We're coming as a prequel, 
So at some point, somebody will be Ripley's mother or father. You knew since day one that people would compare you to Ripley, uh, mm -hmm. your character to Ripley. So how do you make Daniels different from... I didn't really think about it. I, I got the script and there was this very complex, interesting character that I had to figure out how to play. It's only later when journalists ask me that I sort of think of it more now. I wasn't trying to um, be like her or not be like her. Do you know, it just didn't, I didn't mm -hmm. really think about it in those terms. I know you plan to do a movie uh, on Blood May Region since uh, for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite novels. Yeah. Um, if you had to choose one actor, living or dead, to play Judge Holden, uh, who would you Judge. choose? Judge, oh, the shaved head. Um, at the time, I was going to do Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins? At that time. Oh, that's yeah. a great choice. Yeah. All Shaved right. head and guns. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.